Hi friends. Welcome to 30 inks, 30 days, day 10. First step yesterday, Hissy Fit, Cosmo, the new, delightful. Love it. Love it so much. Love it so, so, so much. But we've moved on. Look at that. Mm. He's pretty on there. Um, where are we at now? Oh, so today's video is inspired by my friend, Jacqueline. She is wonderful. She's like, I don't know. She's such a sweetheart to like everyone and great cook. So I obviously had to make a margarita. She required me, AKA, you know, twist my arm, to listen to Misery Business while I was making it, which I did do. I haven't tried it yet. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to taste a little off. Maybe I need a new bottle of Cointreau. And, oh, she inspired my nail polish color. It's a deep blue. I don't know if it's going to look black, but it's blue. And the pen is a bluey purple. And the ink is a bluey purple. So the, the ink and the pen don't really go with the drink, but the theme is Jacqueline. And really, you couldn't ask for a better theme. <clears throat> so, give this bottle a roll. This is the ink that came with this pen, actually, when I bought it. So the pen is my wall, um, Woodshed Pen Company pen. And it turns out the blank is Mermaid Tears. The ink is from Papier Plume. Is there something in there? No. Um, and as far as I can tell, this is probably Dorchester Blue. Like when I got this bottle of ink, it didn't have a name, but then other people on the internet said it was Dorchester Blue. And the internet is never wrong about anything ever. So I feel pretty confident. <laughs> but also like Woodshed Pin is gone and you can't get this anymore anyway. So, although maybe you can get Dorchester Blue. No, who knows? It's like kind of an indigo, really. A purpley, purpley uh, blue. Yeah. I closed the bottle as I should. Oh, and I forgot something over at the counter. Okay. <laughs> so today we have Papier Plume. Dorchester Blue. Woodshed Pen. Co. Pen. B. And Margarita. It's a classic margarita. The recipe I got was from Serious Eats. Is a four ingredient drink. I also made guacamole today. Looking forward to eating that. I tried it and I was like, it maybe is missing something. So I thought, you know what? Maybe what it's missing is some time in the fridge for the flavors to meld. And for the avocados to turn brown. Hopefully that second one doesn't happen. I covered it with plastic wrap resting right on it. Um, so we'll see. 
This looks like blue. Or I mean purple. And by blue, I mean purple. Hmm. Glad you know the difference between those two colors, Maria. I'm going to open it again. <laughs> we know this, but it's all right. Um, I don't think of myself as somebody who likes tequila, but I had a drink with te that was tequila. Oops, I didn't zoom in. Sorry. And I liked it. And I think that's because it had jalapeno in it. So maybe I'll put jalapeno in this drink and it'll be like, whoa. But I probably won't. So... Let's go. Hashtag. Hashtag. 30. Thanks. 30 days. April 2024. Day 10. I hope you can hear the keyboard in the next room. Ink. Bear Plume, Door, Chester Blue. Again, that's probably Pen, Wood, Shed, Pins, Rodnib, Shock, Drink, Classic. Margarita. Not the pizza. Mm, that would be good though. For today's drink, we have a pizza. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be sad about that. I mean, actually I would be sad if I was drinking a pizza, but Okay, we're ready for splatting. So when it's going on, it's like 100% purple to my eyes. That syringe is sounding like not healthy. Um, let's write down our recipe. See if I can remember it from memory. Wait, was it really four ingredients? Because I just now count three. Maria. Okay, day day ten. Um I was glad to see, by the way, I forgot to mention this, um, that I'm not alone in scribbling with the back of the nib. So this was, um, about... 22 and a half milliliters of fresh lime juice, 30 milliliters Cointreau, and 60 milliliters tequila. Blanca? It's the clear one, y'all. Not the yellowish one, okay? It's the clear one. Salted rim, lime garnish. It's supposed to be a lime wheel, but I only had one lime and I had already cut it into wedges, so we got a lime wedge. And But you know what, it's pretty.
Yeah, there's a little bit of funk in that that I associate with Cointreau. So anyway. So look, it is interesting. It's going down really purple, but it is drying to something that's bluer to me. We got one like that. Was Witch by Starlight that way? I think it was. And what's funny enough, that's the ink I really wanted to put in here. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to put it in the pen. Like I wanted to be able to, but I couldn't, you know, because I was worried about it going bad. I'm having a hard time cleaning it. I'm just going to write Dorch. Dorch blue. I don't know what that means, right? <laughs> Years from now, what the heck did that mean? It means turn to the calendar page. Girl. Ooh. I hope you like that. I also hope that did a little bit of like sound noises for you. Sound noises, everyone. <laughs> Sorry to inundate you with technical terms. Like, sound noises. <laughs> um, it's worth noting I haven't really eaten today. <laughs> and I'm drinking margarita. But I'm about to go have some of that aforementioned guacamole. Because it's rested long enough. And we're setting this aside to dry. And we did all the things. So I guess we're at the end of the video. Right on. Here we are. What do you think of this pairing? It's all right. I think it's not bad. I think it's all right. Anyway, whatever. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.